Hello, this is JJ Bag at Aim 17, and today it's going to be like a little flash ass discussion video it's about the YouTube changes that they made recently. <clears throat> Alright, I have a few problems with it. Well, the first problem I have with the YouTube changes that they've made so far is the layouts. I'm, I'm not sure why they keep doing this, but every time they change the layout, it gets worse. Especially now when you have to go to your profile or, you know, your channel. <clears throat> it is a lot more tedious now. First, you have to click your icon, and then you have to go to um, either Channel Studio or, or um, I don't know, what is that thing called? I'm about to check in a minute. Yeah, it's Channel Studio and, no, Creator Studio, sorry. And whatever the other icon is that says on, that's on the right side of it. <laughs> and you can also add accounts and you can go to your email. Doesn't sound too bad, right? And you can also sign out if you want to. Here's the problem. When you go to Creative Studio, you have to go through that. Then you have to... Then you gotta click on, you know, view channel and then you get to your channel. If you want to get to your channel and... I don't know. Oh, YouTube settings. That's what the other one was. YouTube settings and... It's kind of stupid the way they laid this out. It's <clears throat> it's just a lot more tedious now to go to certain spots. They did put the inbox back, which I'm glad because before when you had to um, go to people's channels just to check your inbox was really stupid and annoying and irritating. However, at the same time, the payoff that you get for it isn't very isn't great at all. Because, again, you have to go through more stuff again. And to get to your inbox, you know, you go to your channel creator and, you no know, create a studio and then you check on community. And that's how you get to your, um, you know, your inboxing messages and all that other stuff. And there's another problem I've also just recently ran into. Now, I've invited a few people to um, participate in the live stream. For my YouTube buddy by the name of Brady Anime, who just reached like 700, like, like um, over 700 s subscribers. Now, a lot of them, no, none of them really responded. However, what I recently found out is that one of the people I asked later on, as far as people who um, I actually do live streams with, he actually responded and said that he he didn't even see the, my message on his inbox that he had to look. He found it on his email. Now, if that is the case, how can this is going to make things more difficult? Now, it's like, how do you want to send messages now? Seriously, because I sent a bunch of messages to people and no one responded. Now, now I'm thinking that people didn't even see it. That was that was one of my biggest fears. Like, oh no, wait, one of the people didn't even get the message. And it turns out that could be the case now. It could be the case I just didn't see the message. But now, oh, this could be a problem for me as well because what if someone sends me a message and I don't get it? Especially if I have to check my email for it? If that's the case, what's the point of an inbox? What's the point of send? What's the point of even having like those message things where you send messages? What's the point of that if you're not even going to get it? If sending it is pretty much worthless. If that's the case, I'm just commenting on the person's channel, I don't know. It's kind of retarded. It's, it's really annoying. But whatever, it's, it is what it is, I suppose. But that's my little rant about the whole um, YouTube channel change. It's kind of a double-edged sword, if you really think about it. I, like, yay, they brought the inbox thing back, but no, with all the other crap that comes with it. So... I heard that they're supposed to be doing more changes like in another two or three months, I think. Let's hope that it doesn't completely destroy YouTube, but you know, usually something gets broken along the way every time I do a change on this site, so. But over there, that's another thing they added. They, now they have like, um, they'll have these like little updater things that lets you know when they're about to make a change and what the change is going to be. As far as you getting a choice whether you want that change or not, eh, not really.
But at least you get to know what's going to happen now. <laughs> eh. YouTube. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Anyway, I think that's long enough. This is over five minutes away, so I will see you guys later and have a good day.